hey guys welcome back to a new vlog for uh, this video I wanted to film my capsule wardrobe just because I had been trying to film my capsule wardrobe in a decent setup you know like with me standing up and showing you every piece and then wearing it but the thing is because it's my capsule wardrobe I just wear it all the time and so there is no time where I have everything on my rail so I just decided that I would film it as a vlog um, such that every day I will show you a few pieces of it but I have just gotten back from work and the first piece of my um, wardrobe is actually this scarf it's from Burberry it's the classic check but I have decided that instead of having it in camel and pink I'd rather have it in a color that is more flattering which is this nice mustard and I do have another another um, how do you say it another scarf that actually is the second scarf in my capsule collection so I'm just gonna take you now to my room <sighs> I just got back from work I did some long uh, bought some stuff but uh, I'm gonna take you first and then we can discuss all right so this is my room and this is where I hang my scarves I just use these command hooks so in my capsule I have this one and this one. This was my first Burberry scarf that I had gotten. Then we get to this corner, which is where my daily capsule is. So here I will have my skirts. I have four skirts that I have on rotation. So all of them are from Windsor actually. This black one is this A-line skirt. I have shown you it many, many times. It just looks like this. And I like that it's an A-line. I wear it high-waisted. And whenever I gain weight, I just wear it a little bit more high-waisted than usual. And that kind of helps with me not having to buy too many things as my weight fluctuates. The following three that I have are just these pencil skirts. You guys have seen them in many of my vlogs. I'm wearing one of them, actually. This is the black one. Here is what it looks like. I just like it because again I can wear it as high waisted as I need it to be it's a very stretchy material and I really like it and then I have my knits this is the most recent addition to my collection it is a cashmere um, is this a crew neck just a round neck from Marks and Spencer and uh, it is quite oversized because this is the extra small size but it's quite oversized 100% cashmere it was a hundred pounds I got tons of comments from both male and female colleagues today so definitely quite a stylish addition to my collection the rest of my knits will be here this is a, a, a merino one from Cezanne I have worn it uh, quite a few times and this and this one are also from Cezanne from the cashmere collection with Eric Bompard and this is a turtleneck from the Edelweiss boutique in Belgium in Brussels next I am holding I am keeping these dresses here but I don't necessarily wear them now I have a mustard dress that you would have probably you will see uh, very soon I have worn it in on Instagram quite a few times I have this tea dress in case I get invited somewhere it is by a designer called Susanna Crab I absolutely love it it's silk um, and it's just a 1930s dress this is a silk dress by Cezanne the model is called Elsa it has these little dots in a cru color and the rest is black you could see that I have a very big uh, theme of uh, dots and, and, and silk and black this is a silk dress also from Cezanne it's quite crinkled but I will have to you know um, steam it later on this model is called the Nadia dress and I have shown you it in a, in a um, Christmas vlog this is also a very recent addition it's from Windsor London and I haven't worn it yet then I have this t-shirt from Zara Basics I've had it for maybe five or six years now it's held up pretty well I really like it I think this is the last year that I have that I can wear it but I really like the draping on it then this is a shirt from Cezanne I haven't gotten much wear out of it just because I need to steam it first but I really like it these two shirts I get tons of wear from Cezanne you have seen them in many of my outfits 
all of this needs to be steamed this one I think I have already steamed this is from Carol it's a silk skirt silk shirt Cezanne I always keep the two Brooks Brothers ones um, up front because whenever I don't have something to wear I can wear these I need to steam all of this but if I don't want a very fussy outfit I can just wear these they never wrinkle or some of the knits like I have done today for today's outfit for weekends and Fridays the only thing I have is this pair of jeans it's by Uniqlo and I have worn it loads I wear it almost every weekend and, and Fridays so um, got quite a bit of wear out of it it's a boyfriend cut and quite high waisted so I really enjoy wearing it um, I have my capsule makeup but I always do the same makeup whether I do it here or when traveling or when at the gym I have actually the same makeup bag that I just wear the same thing and I think it's quite useful matter of fact I actually need to get a powder brush I don't think I have this is a Bose speaker I don't think I have an extra powder brush I'm gonna need one for my gym bag because I noticed that I don't like uh, applying my powder with just the the sponge hmm I don't have an extra powder brush it's also fine <laughs> yeah I have foundation brushes and stuff but I don't have a powder brush fine it's okay for my coat I always wear this Woolrich um, coat that I had bought when I was in Belgium you guys remember it uh, have been very useful especially when I had to work during the wheat winter in Poland I've worn it in New York when it when we had the polar vortex so it's quite useful um, and then here I have my big sweater from Aran sweater market I always wear it and this is the Ralph Lauren cable knit sweater that I bought to replace the other one of these that has shrunken I have kept my Aran sweater because I'm still hoping that I can revive it but I'm not really sure about that. I really love this print. It's not a very yellow leopard print, so it is a muted beige and I like the brown in it. I don't necessarily want something that is very, uh, that screams animal, although, I mean, <laughs> leopard print, come on. But I think that this is in a way that is very neutral, so I can pair it with a lot of the outfits that I have. Again, my pencil skirt from Windsor. And I have been enjoying wearing these uh, tights. They're from Calzedonia. I just think they add a little playful thing to my outfit. Today I was just wearing these running shoes because I was having, I have my booties from um, Birkenstock, but they just hit me in the, in the top of my feet and it just hurts. So that is for it for now. That is essentially my work wardrobe. I have a couple of things in the wash. So like my mustard dress and things like that. Oh, my wash I had I f is finished. Oops, no, 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 off. I did wash some clothes during the night, so I'm gonna just take that out. Hi, just back from another long day at work. And um, today I was wearing this mustard, um, what's it called? Scarf <laughs> from Burberry. So it goes back to this section. And the shirt that I'm wearing is my Brooks Brothers shirt. That's one of the shirts that were at the front over there. And the skirt is the uh, berry color skirt from my Windsor collection. And then just some black tights. One of the ways that I stay on top of uh, my chores now that uh, I am based mostly off of London is that I do my chores a little bit by bit. So yesterday uh, on Sunday night I had run um, laundry then Monday I left it to dry but it was almost completely dry anyway and then today I'm just gonna fold the bits that were still drying that I hadn't folded immediately and then I'm gonna just put this in the wash and then I'm gonna make some dinner and then start an audiobook and just chill for the rest of the night i'm not going to look at any screens or anything like that because i'm trying to minimize this but this is what my little stack looks like i must say it looks 
60% full all the time any time of the week just because I just wear things I wash them I put them back so uh, it always looks like that which is why I wasn't able to show you my capsule collection while it's completely full this is just how it works I use it all the time so any given time um, I have a couple items that I'm wearing and a couple items that are in the wash so yeah good morning I just woke up and got dressed this video will uh, go up while I'm on the train because it's Saturday morning and uh, I'm headed to Paris I'm going to a concert with my best friend so I'm going to only spend a few hours there I will arrive in the afternoon go to another friend's per um, kid's birthday which is quite amazing because with my best friend um, six years ago when I was in New York I had just landed on a Saturday and then immediately arrived to my place, changed my clothes and went straight to Tanja for her wedding and uh, I remember I hadn't even slept and it was just epic so uh, it's quite interesting to see six years later that again with my best friend we're going to see her kids uh, her kids um, birthday um, and now they have moved to Paris so we're going to see them there so it's gonna be a pretty busy day for me I'm gonna make breakfast now edit this video go to St. Pancras get ready and um, you know go through the passport check security and all of that we're staying at a very nice hotel uh, the Marriott on Hosman which is quite nice um, and uh, it's just going to be very self-indulgent so I'm not going to take photos I know it would be a great photo op opportunity for um, for bloggers but I'm not one sometimes people forget that I'm so sleepy because I could not sleep as I was so excited because there was so much wind that I just could hear the trees and I'm a very light sleeper so this is why I have this croaky voice but I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing today for travel so I'm just wearing my iron sweater uh, I still haven't revived the one that didn't uh, that, that kind of died in the wash then I'm wearing my leggings by um, Abercrombie This is my bag. I'm gonna travel with just this bag and it has tons of snacks and a book to read. And I just wanted to show you to close the the video series about uh, the video about my capsule wardrobe. This is what my capsule wardrobe looks like at the end of the week. And typically a lot of things end up here. So I have a lot of things that have already been through the wash. So I just need to, to kind of fold them. And I have things that I have worn. So I need to fold them in and either put them away or I need when it comes to jeans because I don't wash jeans all the time or I need to actually give them a light wash like for my sweaters but typically that's the pile that accumulates during the week if I've had a busy week and I have definitely had one so um, that's, this is why I was never able to film my capsule wardrobe unless I had used that format of vlogging so now you have an idea of what I typically wear I have had this capsule wardrobe since November so November, December January and now going on Feb so I've been wearing it for over three months and I will keep it also throughout the month of Feb and then I will change it around in March and then I will see what I want to add for the spring season as of then thank you guys for watching I'm now gonna go edit this video so that it uploads while I'm going to St. Pancras